The Community Festival Statement of Principles. The Community Festival is guided by its principles. The principles are statements of what the members believe is basically important. They are. We think that people ought to work for the collective good of all people rather than for personal gain. We support cooperation and collective activity rather than competition and individual profit. The basic necessities of life are a right and not a privilege. People have the collective right to control the conditions of their lives. People should strive to conduct their lives in harmony with the environment. We recognize that there are primary attitudes that divide and oppress people. These attitudes are usually shown by prejudice against people on the basis of age, class, ability, income, race, sex, and sexual preference or orientation. We seek to eliminate these attitudes. The statement of principles is more important than any other writings of the community festival. Fest. Welcome to the virtual community festival.
we're excited to present you with this online representation of the community festival experience. This live broadcast reflects the diversity, vitality, and activism of the Columbus community and its signature festival, Confest. Although we wish we could all be together during this ongoing pandemic, we're excited to present you with a virtual representation of Confest. Yeah, this is this is the start of the Confest season for all of us. Yeah. So we're having the logo contest for the t-shirts for Confest. And if you win the logo contest, your logo, your art will be on our t-shirts in the 2014 uh, Confest. So primarily there are artisans throughout the community who look forward to this every year and hoping that their logo is the one that gets picked because when it gets picked, you're looking at at least 4,000 people who are going to wear their shirt and not just for the weekend, but also for the rest of the year and years to come. And that's the most amazing thing because all of a sudden you'll see somebody in a Confess t-shirt years from now and you go, nice shirt will be a collector's item because the only people that get these t-shirts are the people who volunteer at Confest. Look for something that captures both kind of the, well I'd probably say spirit and purpose, but it's the idea of, it's got to have a political threat, it's got to have a cultural threat, I guess. And anything that's too busy or has tiny lines usually won't make it. The only thing we ask is that you have our, the date of the festival and the Hopewell symbol included in it. It is a symbol that Comfest adopted a long time ago. The Hopewell were the mound builders, the early people of Ohio. Um, they hold our history. They were a peaceful people. That there's never been any evidence that they warred with anybody. The first round, you have three votes. So hopefully when you went around, you jotted down your three favorites at this stage. We just got through the first round. They're going to tell us right now, the next round, who we get to vote for. We're going to go through these one at a time. Each entry will be held up as we vote for that entry. This is our final round. Everybody gets one vote. We're down to four entries at this point. Number four. I did a design based on uh, Art Nouveau, Art Nouveau advertisements, and I thought it really fit well with the theme of the festival. some very special guests joining in this weekend and it's only appropriate that our first guest is an original organizer and performer who's been part of the festival since it began in 1972 and please welcome Mr. Barry Churin. Hey! Hi there! Hello from Okay. Hello from Please welcome jazz legend extraordinaire, Mr. Tony Monaco. Hey Bill, you know it. What the heck? <laughs> I'm so happy to be announcing that. I'm actually going to be conjoined with my Columbus friends for the biggest festival that we love the most called ComFest. And it started back, way back in the hippie days. It's a community festival. And there are several stages, and we all play and have a big party that week. So unfortunately, with the situation, the wise thing is for us to uh, bear this this year but thanks to you all, Friday and Saturday Night Show is devoted and dedicated and will be on several watch parties to our Columbus Community Festival.
2020. It's a big honor, Bill. Thank you for being with our my show. And it's a bigger honor that you asked me. Uh, folks, uh, the music that you hear that comes from my soul, it comes from my soul, but it was bred right here in Columbus, Ohio. And I heard some of the best music right here from some of the best musicians. Because see, it music is not about the name. It's about the quality. And um, so, you know, uh, Columbus was one of the st stopping points for the whole revolution of jazz and blues and the Chitlin Circuit and home of Rusty Bryant, Hank Marr, Don Patterson, Roland Kirk, Nancy Wilson. So Columbus has a, quite a history uh, in itself. Uh, and so uh, I'm proud to be a part of this city and the community festival. And we're going to sure bring on the light. Please welcome Mr. Barry Chur. The air conditioner finally arrives to try to alleviate the 115 degree daytime temperatures inside the hot still plastic. Good afternoon or evening or whatever you're watching this. We're still the Woosley Band after all these years. I want to thank Comfest for giving us lots of great memories and an opportunity to play and mostly to volunteer and be a part of the community. We wish we could be with all of you, but we can't. So, we got some video. Day it is confess, that's what I've been told. Day it is confess, well, one more year I'll Thanks, Comfest. Thanks. We'll be outside next year. Thanks, Comfest. Happy, Happy Comfest! Cheers. And please welcome Mr. Barry Churn. Smoke it. 
Joe's Cafe. Just sit and dig in all the seeds of Smokey Joe's Cafe. But you came walking through the door I had never seen before. At least I never saw her down at Smokey Joe's Cafe. I'm almost faded when she sat right down next to me. Touching mine at Smokey Joe's Cafe. Yeah. The chill was running down my spine at Smokey Joe's Cafe. I could smell a cheap perfume. I just smiled and made my heart went boom. And everybody in the room at Smokey Joe's Cafe. They said, Man, be careful. That shit belongs to Smokey Joe.
please vote. Lives depend on it. And live every day the confess way.